what is up friend hope all is well welcome back to another episode in supermarket simulator before i forget i'm gonna try to post up the six screenshots from the six days i played offline you know i like to show this stuff off to you i know i said i wouldn't but why not so here it is all right very cool if you want to look at those closer obviously just go ahead and hit that young um pause button but let's go ahead and hit enter on this day this is day 232 uh with a little bit of earnings here 21,000 in earnings uh, minus my supply cost uh, we had a profit of 11,205 now let me go ahead and start the new day so we got the butter it's the only thing that changed prices which is good it means i don't have to scramble around and try to find out what it is that changed just changed the nine cents above price uh, before I also another thing that I I forgot why well, don't want to forget to tell you is I did download the refill all mod which is a really really cool mod it's um it's right here this basically what it does uh, I'll show you I'll click on it and then I may have to just kind of delete everything because I don't know if I'm ready to refill my whole my whole inventories what happens is if you click this once you see that 13 to 2067 but this will pretty much refill my entire back room and as you can see we need it right however the reason why i brought you back and i know it took me a little bit to make another one of these videos is because we are very very if anything we are like ready to let me pay the bills first uh licenses purchase our last license now i brought you back but i can't purchase the license yet because we have sixty five thousand dollars to pay for that and that only was with roughly about 4,000, 4,200, which may be enough for the new inventory, but I don't want to risk it. I don't want to risk it. So we're going to go ahead and do one day uh, right now. We're going to open up the store. I should be good or maybe I won't be. Let me try to figure that out because I did bring you back because we're close. Uh, and I want to I want to go ahead and purchase that um, as soon as I can. Now, if you're asking what this is, it's, I, I made a mistake. So the thing about this mod is if you have... And I'll just kind of do this just as an example. If you have that right there and you hit that refill all, it's going to actually refill all of this as well. So it's going to buy enough inventory to restock this area here. And so I had one little box on the floor. I wasn't paying attention and I accidentally purchased a bunch of them. So that's why I have extra. And this little toothpaste doesn't sell as much as I want it to. So I already have it here. It's filled up but eventually little by little i've been kind of taking from here and then refilling it there so that's kind of been the game plan so what i'm gonna do right now is i am gonna go ahead and hit this refill all button which i already have right we're gonna do one quick day of work but what i'm gonna do here is i'm gonna limit these i'm gonna lower these quantities i'm gonna just put them all at one unless it's something that's like a high quantity item item and then i'll bring you guys back to show you more or less how we did today and then uh, get going from there um, my goal is to not spend so much money on this purchase so that we can up so we can purchase the news license in this episode as well as purchase its inventory so we can get that going and then finally purchase the last license of this uh, of this game which I from what I'm hearing there are some updates that are coming up but I don't believe anything until I actually see it kind of my thing it's kind of my motto uh so anyways without further ado let me go ahead and grind out a little bit here and then i'll bring us right back all right very cool so as you can see i was able to trim that order down a little bit uh which is good because the store is looking good and my inventory room is also looking amazing if i do say so myself it's pretty well stocked there's some areas of opportunity here but that is okay um, I still have, and I have, I also made not the same mistake, but it's kind of the same scenario here with the chocolate milk. Same thing. I had a little box, like just kind of off its course, if you may. It, and I accidentally ordered more than I should have, but that's okay. It happens. See right here. I don't like this. This was empty and the mod actually reordered this a bunch of times. Let me see if it, yeah, yeah. See it totally did i don't know why it does that sometimes and i thought i checked the quantity so okay so this is trash now but like for example this book 40 i already have a slot for it okay it just put it on that side i'm good with that as long as it doesn't like order create another area for me to put in this inventory 
which is a really really good way to overstock on something that you don't need you know to overstock in i mean there's no item in here that you need to overstock basically is what i'm saying and so the fact that it just split that in two that's fine i'm good with that what i'm not good with is the game actually saying like for example so this right here is empty nothing should be placed in here when i make an order but for some reason these two items did they were added in there i don't know why but they were so i need to empty this out again and the reason why i want to kind of keep this empty is because sorry excuse the the traffic here uh is because when we do order this new license I am, I'm already looking at, well, you know, what I'm going to need. And I already know. No, nope, that's the wrong button. I already know that I'm going to need uh, room for six items. So I do have these six, uh, these six spots here. One, two, three, four, five, six. But I also want to keep these four. And eventually I'll get rid of this. So I'll have ten new free spots for these items here. And then I also have bam 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 this shelf right here uh and obviously it's right in front of the liquor so it's perfect and then i even have room for the liquor here as well so we're ready for that last order i just have to have enough money for that and i'm sure after today's sales we'll have enough money for that and to order the new product so let's go ahead and finish out the day and uh, make a lot of money and i'll bring you guys back right before we order that new license or buy that new license all right, we're going to help out the cause a little bit because it's a little bit saturated in here. It's packed. People are complaining about the checkouts being full. So we're going to help out. Why not? Maybe we'll play a little game of where do you work or what do you do for a living? Uh, and then we have, I'm going to say she's a bar owner. Don't know her name, but she is a bar owner. She just looks like that. If you guys seen the movie Coyote Ugly, she kind of reminds me of that lady that was the owner of that of that bar i think she was from Piedmont, Piedmont, north dakota is what she claimed to be where she came claimed to be from so i don't know i can't remember her i mean i can't remember exactly what she said but yeah she was the bar owner the the owner of the coyote ugly bar really good movie actually i do i did enjoy that movie a great deal so much that i watched it more than once and when i do that usually what happens is i'll be scrolling you know through the channel through the tv or whatever back when cable was really popular and then if that movie was on i would watch it so it's not like i would look for it and then watch it if it was on i would watch it because it's a good movie i love music so anything that has music which that one does um not a lot but it does have that's what the movie's about a you know an expiring singer who decides to work at a bar where she dances um for tips um it's a good movie i liked it enjoyed it if you've seen it before and you like it let me know what you thought i mean if you've seen it before <laughs> and you either liked it or disliked it let me know what you thought but anyways okay so back to it this lady right here i want to say i don't know okay well she's 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 gone so i couldn't think of one all right this right here i'm just gonna say is a housewife housewife probably just got out of the gym Threw on some clothes that I need to go grocery shopping before the hubby gets home. And so she's out here doing that. So let's go ahead and get her her change. So that she has time to get back to the hubs and make, a, make that dinner for the fam. This gentleman right here, uh, I'm going to say, I don't know. Maybe um, a real estate agent, I guess. Makes sense. A little nice attire. Rocking the suit. Yep, yep. Uh, this gentleman, I think we said, is a... Uh, he is a bartender at a very, very fancy hotel. Very expensive and fancy hotel. Those guys make really, really good money. As you can see, he's spending a lot of money. So he makes a lot of good money. Thank you, sir. Have a good night. And then we said he was uh, the owner of a law firm. I don't know. I just get that vibe from him. Older look. Very smart, very wise, paid his, paid his dues. This one right here is tough. I don't know what to say about this one. Um, I already used the housewife one. So I don't know. I don't know. I'll come back to this one. Okay, here we go. All right, gentleman with the tie. I'm going to say he is an insurance broker. 
And he is too tired to keep his jacket on from his suit. It's just my guess. Alright, this gentleman doesn't have a tie, so I'm going to say he is an account executive for... An electronics company. I don't know. I'm out of ideas, guys. <laughs> uh, this dude is definitely a bartender somewhere. Either bartender or server with a little bow tie. Here is our law firm owner again. CEO. There we go. 229. He just reminds me of like an actor from Suits. I, I watched that Suits series. And he just reminds me of somebody that would be in that show. Here we go. 104.90. Wrong button. 104.90. All right, we'll get it together, I promise. There we go. Off you go. Couldn't find what? Veggie mix? Yeah, we're going to have a lot of those. If you guys notice on the screenshots that I put up, if I didn't forget to put them up, uh, you're going to see that there were days where I missed out a lot of, on a lot of items. And that's because uh, when I downloaded the mod and I did my first order, everything that I ordered went to the street. And so rather than waiting for me to put everything back up, what I did is I just started the day, the days, and it it took me a little bit to catch up, to refill our inventory completely. Wait, there's veggie mix right there. How did you not find it? Maybe my guys are slow. All right, all right, fifty cents. There's your Curtis Jackson right back at you. Hello, ma'am. Oh, it's a lot. I don't mind a lot. Two fifteen. Look at these. Grocery tickets. We are tendering some very, very good monies here. All right, 97.40. Gone are the days when we used to do like $5. Well, I don't think we ever did $5, or maybe we did. Most likely the first day, right? I'll just go ahead and pick you up. I'm going to place you down. All right, cool. We're, we're at a good amount. 80000 That is perfect for what I want to do. Go ahead and place you down and then i'm gonna see wait um if i don't know why i thought that was a regular customer i'm like why are you going into the inventory room which has happened once if you guys remember it was punisher who decided to walk back there all right let's take a look let's see we got one more person left Eighty thousand. that's a really good amount that'll definitely be enough to buy the new license let's go ahead and hit enter and see how we did 11 products not found, 198 customers, 21,500 is a good number. Let's go ahead and hit that next day button. We got softener, salmon, and the cheese mozzarella. The cheese mozzarella is going to be, I think it's this one. No, that's Parmesan. Oh, it's this one. And it went down to, we'll call it 440. Why not? Now I got to find the salmon. That one's going to take me a little bit. Alright, found it, and I already forgot what the last one was. A, we'll call this 860. Alright, so it's the fabric softeners, this one. Go ahead and click on this. Uh, actually, it didn't even change that much. Technically, 10 cents for us. Alright, very good. So, obviously, these guys are still working. They still have they still have a lot of work to do restocking the place. Oh, can we finally... Oh, this is nice. Oh, no. Okay, that's fine. I still have one box left. What about this one? Still have that box left. Not fun. What about here? Yeah, see, this does... This, I don't know why this... For some reason, it... Or maybe these guys are doing a really good job of restocking it, but it... I feel like I, I'm not selling a lot of this. You know what? There's only one place to check. Let me check real quick. I know I'm kind of stalling a little bit here. Uh, sold. Where is the... Freaking toothpaste... It's going to be down here somewhere, I guarantee you. Because I feel like I'm not selling any of it. That or these guys are not restocking it. I don't see it. I don't even see it here. Oh, here it is. We sold 15 of them. I guess that's enough. Let me see if they are restocking it. Yeah, it's. I think it's filled up. For the most part. Alright, guys. Let's do this. Let's, uh, let's order this license. I think we're ready for it. Confident of it. Uh, license last one last one until they do any updates so let's go ahead and do it 65,000 we're gonna get six products all liquor it's a thing of beauty there we go and now let's see let's 
get our hands dirty here. Uh, I'm gonna purchase. Well, let me just add them all. And then I can come back over here and mess with it. Okay, uh, let me do... I guess we'll just do three, right? Three of each. We have plenty of money. I'm not too worried about the money. And um, and having enough for the next order. So let's go ahead and purchase you. Obviously, everything is going to be... Whoa. All over the place. All right, so this right here... And I'm going to fix this, I promise. So this right here... Actually, you know what? Oh, this is perfect. This is freaking perfect. Let me put this down kind of go like well i don't know do i want to do that no let's let's just let's just do let's just do the right thing okay put that there and i'm gonna price you now before i forget you are 27 we'll call you 27 80 sure why not not a big profit but at least you're priced and i'll just grab another one of you and I think I'm going to do... I, I can technically do the whole row. I can. I should have enough for it. So the only thing is I, I don't want to do that with this last box because we need a marker, right? I'm going to call these markers. A marker is something where I need I need to put this somewhere so that, I, so that it'll refill. I think I'm going to do it here and here. So I'm going to have two of the blue ones, two of the yellow ones, and then two of these green ones. And they'll all be in the same place. Are you still mad at me? Okay, you're not anymore. Very good. That worked. What's up with these books? Uh, yes, very good. All right, so now I don't have anything like lagging or off, off place. I don't. Except for those two boxes and then all of this. All right, that's good. So far, so good. Let's see. Ooh, nice. Little Tennessee whiskey. We'll put the Tennessee whiskey right here. And we'll start with two, depending on how much more I get um, of the other ones, uh, I'll adjust. So this is going to be 20, 40. And by far, this is my favorite item in this whole game. Uh, 20, yeah, it's 15 cents over. All right, good. Good, good, good. What is this? Probably the whiskey again. Very good. All right, we'll throw the box away and then... I'm assuming this is okay perfect so now we need our marker and i don't think i have room for this over here like all of these are single so i can't i can't replace these because then it throws us off but what i am going to do is i'm going to place it here because that's what this is for this is designated for this exactly for this particular moment right here all right next is we have some le chateau i'm assuming this is a little wine action so we'll go ahead and put it right here why not? And let's go ahead and price you. And you are we're gonna call you 1050. It's cause 1060 is gonna it's it's gonna piss off a lot of people. I just know it. And I'm not talking about you guys, my customers. They're gonna be upset that I'm charging 20 cents overpriced for something. Alright, and then you technically you're also beer. Technically you go somewhere over here, right? Again, I'll be able to fix all this later. So for now we'll just put you here make two of you get rid of the box price you and you are this one's kind of tricky we'll do 510 1510 i meant to say one thing and i wrote something else uh, i meant to write something and i said something else correct myself i know right i'm having the best time with words today if you haven't noticed all right let's go ahead and put the marker down and i'll put you here for now very very good against this this helps us when we reorder so that it goes in the, in, a, in a spot. If we don't do that, then it's not going to go anywhere. It's just going to stay out on the street. All right, here's another wine, I guess. This is called, yeah, it's just wine. Oh, wait, what? Why is this already priced correctly? Did I do this already and I didn't notice? No, right? Oh, oh, I grabbed the top one. My bad, guys, my bad. Don't hate me in the comments. But if you do want to comment, they are welcomed. All right. And then, so you, wait. Okay. So we, okay. So they already filled it up. I'm assuming they already filled it up because I already grabbed that. And then you are the one we just did. The one I made a mistake on. Or no, it's this one. We should be able to fill this up all the way to the top. Get rid of the box. Very good. And then what are you? Okay. You're going to be my marker, right? Like still need a marker for this, for the wine. Yeah, I do. I need another, I need a marker for the red wine as well. I don't have it. Or the other color wine, whatever that is. 
Oh, green. Green. I don't know why I said red, but it's green. Oh, no, it's this one. Okay, I'm a little confused. Well, maybe it is... Oh. Japanese whiskey. Let's go. I'm all about that. I've never had Japanese whiskey. If you have, let me know what that's like. Thirty-three ninety. That's what that's like. For six eighty-seven profit. Not two shabs. I feel like I'm missing one of the wines. Uh, we'll figure it out right now. But so far, this is freaking awesome. All right. So now this is gonna be our marker. And if you notice, we've lost our emergency racks. I only have one, two, four, five, six. Maybe even less, because I think this is my last one. This is, yeah, this is the other one that I needed. That I was wondering where it went. So technically, I only have one. I only have five emergency racks, which is fine, because we don't need emergency racks. If anything, I should be able to organize myself a lot better now. The reason why we don't need um, any more... Emergency racks is because I don't have new items to buy. That's it. We did it. We completed completely Purchased all the licenses. We're done there. The only thing that I have left are upgrading uh, to a bigger store Which I think I'm gonna do. Um, I Don't know how I'm gonna do that yet, but obviously we need to get to like 70,000 to do that And so that's gonna take time. It took me like six six working days to get it to this to where it's at right now and That was a lot so I don't know how I'm going to do that as far as bringing it, bringing the episodes to you guys. But obviously, I don't want to like bore you with just grinding. Um, the the fun part of this game for me is upgrading and moving stuff around, making the store bigger, adding more items. And so I don't want to bore you with just, you know, like, hey, today we sold this much and now we're going to be able to buy this. So I do want to bring you back, though, if I do have enough money to open something up and kind of re readjust. But I might have to do two because when you open up one... It just opens up a little square. It's a four by four, right? So it's technically four of these and then four of these that way. So I would bring you back probably when I can upgrade two of them so that there's actually a difference in the episode and not just a little square. Anywho, uh, let's go ahead and open up. And uh, oh, no, I can't open up. We have a lot to order. Let me see what it would cost to fully, fully refill the store. It's 16,000. We almost have that. So let me just kind of trim this down a little bit. I don't mind being down to like $200 or whatever. I, I really don't. The reason why is because I already have everything I need. Uh, chocolate powder. I don't need all of that. Uh, so let me just kind of trim this down. Get it to a number that I can actually afford. And then I'll bring you guys right back. All right. So that was a little annoying. I had to trim down a lot of these orders. But that's fine. A lot of these quantities. That's perfectly okay. Let me go ahead and purchase... I hope I don't have a hot mess. I hope I don't. I do have a screenshot of my first time downloading the mod. The buy all mod. And all of this was filled with boxes. Hopefully I don't forget to put it up. So you guys can see. But anyways, the only thing we had to kind of put up here is the chicken, which is fine. It's actually, it actually makes sense because it was, it was kind of filled up. And we are good to go. These guys can go to work, start replenishing the store, restocking the store. Go ahead and turn on the lights, open up shop, and see how we do. All right, all right, all right. We are back. We pretty much survived <laughs> the day. What is this? I have a box out here that I didn't even know. And then I have a box, two boxes up there that I need to grab. Uh, we know how to do that. Actually, this one I can probably jump and grab, right? There it is. What is it? Oh, the... These are actually... Uh, yeah, this is toilet paper. I was going to say, some of these are actually uh, paper towels. I didn't I didn't know that until I read it, like, closely. One of these... I don't know what I was grabbing, and I saw it. I was like, oh, it's paper towels. It's not toilet paper. Like, most of them are toilet paper, but I think some of them are paper towels. I'm not sure which one it is, but some of them are. My guys are working hard for me. I love it. The store is looking good. Uh, I ha I do have to reorganize it, and I will. I think when we come back uh, to upgrade these areas here, um, hopefully by then I will be better organized. Uh, looks like we ran out of potatoes, which is fine. I'll take care of that in the morning. But technically, I do have to hit enter to get to the morning. So let's do that. See how we did. 201 customers, 10 products not found, 21, 8, 8, 27, 
uh, supply costs, upgrade costs. We had a negative profit of 60,000. And that is okay. What do we have here? The Zap Soda and the Prairie Cake. This Zap Soda, I'm thinking, is is it this? Yeah, I, I, knew it was, I knew it was the green one. I had a good feeling it was the green one. So let's go ahead and just we'll put it up to this. And then I'm going to type cake over here. Because I'm not sure which cake it is. And by the time I find it, I'm going to forget it. So we'll just type cake here. And it's a, this one, the, the newer one. And I do have some items that I want to purchase. It's just a couple of them. Uh, I think it's this one over here. The prairie cake. Yep, went down quite a bit, which is unforged. That's all right. We roll with the punches up in here. Let me see. What was it that didn't like? Okay, so you technically go up here. And it didn't like putting it there. Um, I made room for um, I made room right here and down here, so I should it should be a little bit easier for me to get organized here. I have to order a lot of stuff. Let me just kind of show you uh, if I did refill all. Oh, actually, I can afford it. I'm gonna do it so I can show you guys again. You just basically you hit this little refill all button. You go ahead and tender it one time, and oh, everything went in its place. Look at that. No boxes out here my store is refilled it didn't add anything to the empty spots which is perfect earlier today in the same episode for some reason it took away that flower and it added a bunch of this chocolate cake again so i now have an overage of it one more time for some reason this chocolate not cake this powder chocolate likes to go in places where it doesn't belong but outside of that we did good oh my gosh this is so exciting guys i know mods are a little bit of a sensitive subject for some of y'all but if it helps you get through the game a lot quicker and you don't do the tedious stuff that you already did in early game, but you don't want to be doing something you do in early game, which is fun. In a latter part of the game, which is already not fun anymore. So you're basically just kind of repeating something that you've already done a million times. If you make if you can make that happen and continue to have fun with the game, then just do it. Especially if you're playing offline, you know, use whatever it is that's going to make it the game fun for you if something's tedious and you dread doing it then you're not having fun with the game so you might as well play something else or find a way to make it more um adventurous for you something that's you know that you're gonna like look forward to like when i play this game i'm like okay cool i get to remodel my store that's what i look forward to the other thing i look forward to is organizing my store uh and then the other thing is obviously making money and showing you guys that those profits what i don't like doing is reordering over and over and over something that i already know how to do something that is kind of tedious to be honest with you but at the same time it's part of the game so i don't know that's just me so that's why i read i downloaded that mod i still haven't downloaded the mod that automatically adjusts prices for me and you guys know i struggle with that i purposely left that mod out of my series because i want you guys to see me struggle with that with you know changing the price of the items if they give me three to four items i'm gonna forget one of those i'm gonna forget either one or two so that is my story. I'm sticking with it. But that's going to do it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for joining me. If you did enjoy the video, feel free to either like and or subscribe. Comment if you'd like to add anything that I missed. Or if you like to let me know what you did like about the video. Outside of that, please take good care of yourselves. Always make good choices. And I'll see you on the other side.